If you control one and start walking, she starts walking as a doll with her scissors. <laughs> also, was it just me or does the word scissors just look like it's spelled wrong? Sh scissors. Scissors. Hey guys, so uh, let's talk about Gwen. Also, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you enjoy the videos, please consider doing so. Thanks, guys. First things first, Gwen is definitely not a Zolde, so uh, so much for that theory. Instead, she's a doll that a Zolde created. Also, I really just want to say a Zolde, not a Zolde, but apparently a Zolde is the correct pronunciation. I don't know. Basically, her and Azolde would play together, and then one day Azolde died, and Gwen just kind of sat there for about a thousand years wondering what happened to her. Oof. That's rough, buddy. Eventually, Gwen woke up due to magic and pulled off a Pinocchio, transforming into a real girl. That's the best Pinocchio impression I got. You're, you're just gonna have to deal with it. She eventually found her maker's tools. These were my maker's tools. Thanks for the clarification, and started to appreciate life as a real life doll or girl. Doll. Now, what I picture when I think of a doll from the Shadow Isles is something like this, but what Gwen is is pretty much the complete opposite of that. And you know what? Personally, I'm okay with it because I'm not a big fan of huge, weird, creepy dolls, but I can see how this could be confusing. <clears throat> and I quote, she journeys across room terror determined to restore joy to those who are hurt and suffering. Yeah, I could see how something like this would be an issue in restoring joy to people. But you know what does restore joy to people is Summoner's War, who is also the sponsor of today's video. Summoner's War is one of the most popular mobile turn-based RPGs for seven years with over 110 million downloads. It has a massive global community and is one of the most successful mobile esports game out there. There are a thousand unique monsters to collect, weekly in-game events, and customizable sky islands. It's Summoner's War's seventh anniversary and to celebrate they're giving away 107 anniversary exclusive scrolls for free special coin events and special shop events are also going on where users can get special coins for logging in daily plus there's even a dance event going on and you can find more about that on their instagram page so make sure to download summoners war today for free released on april 15th 2021 gwen had a very rough entry to the game to say the least gwen had under a 39 percent win rate within the first 24 hours of her launch one of the worst win rates in league of legends history upon release Nice. For Platinum, ELO, and higher, the win rate got as low as 37.9%. The only champion who is comparable to that was Yumi. You know, the cat that literally just sat on people for the entire game, which is honestly understandable because nobody ever saw a champion like that before. But for Gwen, I don't really know what her excuse is. Gwen was so bad that Riot had to buff her just hours after her release. They couldn't even wait until the next patch. Next patch, after all, wouldn't be until the 28th of April. You could say they just couldn't wait until Gwen. <coughs> Now, all of that aside, let's get into her kit a little. Now, I don't want to get too much into detail, but let's just uh, sum things up a bit, shall we? Her passive is named a thousand cuts, which does health percentage damage, so she's good against tanks. And it's also named after a real life torture method used in China. So that's comforting, I guess. Her Q goes snip snip, which is also the name of it. Very creative, right? And it stacks up to four times. And if you hit them with the middle line thing, it does true damage. Also, fun fact, she has a slightly longer range on the outside of her Q than in the middle, kind of like a Kali's Q. Her E does dash stuff, pretty self-explanatory. However, I will say it's actually a ranged dash, so it'll go as far as you move your cursor. And her R throws needles three times, which is very similar to something else we used to know. Aurelia's ultimate is Transcendent Blades. After activating it, she has a few seconds to shoot four daggers, which hit enemies in a line. Her W is Hollowed Mist and is, well, actually kind of busted and kind of cool at the same time. It lets you become untargetable to anyone outside of the circle. Now, I wouldn't describe it as a wind wall like a lot of people, because let's be honest, the wind wall actually has potential to help your team. But Gwen's W, on the other hand, is more of an F you guys, everyone for themselves ability, because the only one who can dodge using it is you. For example, please enjoy this clip of my friend frantically trying to get away from the gen alt while I sit in my safety bubble. A worthy sacrifice. Not to mention the circle itself just psychologically kind of makes you think anybody on the team can sit in it and be safe too, but that's definitely not the case. Sorry team. Honestly, out of everything, I'd say it's closest to Shin Zhao's ultimate. I'm just gonna say it straight up. I think Gwen kind of sucks, at least right now, for a few different reasons. First, even after the buffs, she still has a 46% win rate. Second, her kit is clearly made for her to be a duelist, but at least for right now, there are just better duelists out there that can do everything she can, but better. Jax, Darius, Fiora, Wukong. I just, I just don't see the reason to pick her over other champions right now. Plus, for being a duelist, it's really hard to stick on to people. She has her E, but that's pretty much it, and it's not like it's the biggest leap in the world. On that note of her being a duelist, she has almost no CC. The only thing she really has is her ultimate, which is just a slow. One of the original Gwen concepts was her sewing two people together and then stunning them, which is honestly, I think, so much better. I mean, look at this. I just it just looks so much more fun to play. But one of the developers, and I quote, said, giving a damage carry a bunch of crowd control means you're creating a busted champion. Meanwhile. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
personally, I think this ability would have fit into her kit way better because as of right now, I mean, three needles is, is pretty cool, I guess, but it, it doesn't feel like it synergizes with her kit very well. It just feels kind of boring, at least compared to this. More proof of her sucking is that 3.43% of people who play Gwen end up AFKing, which is also the highest out of any champion right now. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I think ever since Riot released Samir, they're terrified of overbuffing any champion ever again, which I, I guess is a good and bad thing. I mean, she did kind of break the game for a bit. Also, is it just me or does the concept of cutting a turret with scissors just feel weird to anyone else? I mean, not that Riot can do anything about it, but those things are going to get dull real quick. Anyways, with all that being said, this could easily turn into one of those Lilia moments where everyone has no idea how to play her for the first half. And then a couple weeks later, she's the most busted champion out there, which honestly may happen. But I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some more Gwen buffs soon too. Real quick, here are some random facts about Gwen. Gwen was heavily influenced by Aurelia, as you probably noticed. Aurelia was even the placeholder model for her in development. Some of Aurelia's spells were even used as placeholders for Gwen too. They even forgot to change Gwen's title for a small period of time. Gwen's W was originally going to be very similar to Mordekaiser's ultimate, where she could cut dimensions out of the world with her scissors and become untargetable while in sight. The main difference would have been anyone could enter or exit it. Gwen's dance is a reference to the music video Pon Pon Pon. Now that Gwen's experienced life, her biggest fear is death. That's deep, man. And here are some of Gwen's base skin splash hearts. Anyways, it'll be interesting to see what happens to her in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and be sure to tell me your thoughts on Gwen in the comments. Bye!